Alright, to be honest, I'm seeing some pretty awful suggestions here. But there was one that I can really get behind. I think that's one that can make everyone happy. In any case, it's finished up. I'd love to convert it, but in fact, I rather think I will convert it. There's no need for people over here, though. They're just costing me money. As for these ships, also unnecessary. However, it doesn't say that we can westernize. That fills me with a bit of dread. Maybe it just won't tell us until the next month. I really hope that's the case. Otherwise, I'm going to feel like a right fool. Or is our overextension, is our uh, stability too low? Nope. Nah, there we go needed the turn of the month to figure it out. So we can westernize, and to be honest, I can't think of a good reason why we wouldn't currently westernize. Uh, things are going to get a bit hairy. We're going to have quite a few revolts, I imagine, but we've got a young theologian. He'll help us out. We're making a bit too much money, though. We'll divert some of our money elsewhere. Yeah. All right, let's do it. This isn't going to This isn't going to be fun. We haven't banked much admin. That is a problem. But things are only problems if you let them be problems. We'll gain it faster than we lose it. Our war exhaustion will trickle, trickle away on its own. Yeah, welcome back, rebel factions. How I missed you. Persia, are you young? 46 is not young. Get out of here. My king refuses to die. Our uh, half-decent heir will never see the light of day at this rate. Hmm. Trouble is, I wanted Madurai to be the one that I fight. Oh, Cochin are still on our side. I still want them dead. <laughs> Really just want them dead. Maybe if I break vassalization, they'll ally with someone next to them. The only issue is we'll have a bit of a truce, but whatever. I don't want them. I've never wanted them. Go make some friends, you useless province. Trouble is, if I fabricate a claim, I might get caught, and then Madurai won't like me for that. Why won't Madurai Senpai notice me? Wait, what? The seedy state of Habsan. Versions seem to diverge on exactly how it happened. Some say they came in the dark. Some say that hidden big boxes disguised as gifts. But somehow the commander of one of our coastal forts managed to lose some control of both his island fort and the entire region under his control at the same time. The perpetrator is a little group of seedies, former slaves of Eth Ethiopian. Lucas. Hmm. Asking we allow them to stay in return for vo uh... CD ideas. That's interesting. But you spawn with two, two, two tech. Well, whatever. They must be dealt with. Absan declares on us. We're probably going to have to pay to get their land, though. There's a noise I haven't heard in a while. Oh, well. First come, first serve. Take care of them. Oh, this is great! This is perfect! They declared war on me. Guess what I get for that? 
Uh, guess what I get for that? Huh? Hmm, okay. Interesting. There we go. We get national defense on all accepted culture provinces. Minus five revolt risk. We don't get it on the likes of Baluki, but we get it in uh, all of these provinces. Maybe it's not accepted culture, maybe it's just culture group, but whatever the case, that's minus five revolt risk for all that land. In any case, you still gotta die, so take care of things, Vijayanagar. Come on, Madurai, I'm a good guy, really. I'll even give you another bit of money. It's not that money means much to us right now. Now, this guy's costing us an arm and a leg. Thankfully, we have many arms and many legs when it comes to money. So we can afford to keep our advisors uh, fairly flush. Jake, how did you take the colony to Western Eyes off? Weren't you watching? Norway had this province at 998 settlers. I went in, I seized it, and then I instantly pieced out by giving them the uh, trade power from Bachma uh, yeah, Bachmanis, which I simply asked for. Not sure what we're really going to do with this province. I think we'll just keep it. Although I don't want peasant revolts. We'll have to convert it or else it's going to get pretty nasty. It'll be cheap to convert though. Mind you, how dare they take that province? Three base stacks. Our eight ships can blockade that. Champure is down, so Darude Sandstorm goes. Ah, oh, we're almost fully done. This is great. Jake, have you spotted Ard? Oh. Johnson, you're really getting on my Johnsons here. Oh, they have got to die. No ifs, no buts, they're dying. Jake, can you reduce your income for one extra point in westernization? Yeah, I certainly could, and it's probably going to be for the better. Because at the moment it's going to take us uh, 13 years. Now, you, you get minus one for each 15 ducats of income you have, so if we drop our income just below 60, we'll be fine. Which means what I should do is throw my income over to somewhere where others have uh, plenty of power, preferably one of my vassals. Now, Vigianagar has it well in Ceylon. Not that we're doing anything in Ceylon. Hmm. Hmm. It's unfortunate none of our traders are really that downstream. Oh, we can recall our merchants. All two of them. We'll see how that affects us. 666. Six. Yeah, 777. At the cost of 10 ducats per month. Is it worth it to save a couple of years? Probably not, but that's what we're doing. Nobles. Well, as long as they're not rising up in Daraday Sandstorm, we'll be fine. Come to think of it, our, our troops really aren't ready for, uh, for battle. Come on, King, it's high time you died. It was high time you died ages ago.
And only after taking back all of our uh, traders we got trading in cotton. Sometimes I really don't understand this game. What's with you? That's what you get for denying the noble. <laughs> ah, I love the nobility. Yuan Shao. He's a man's man. Not sure we're going to reach there in time to... Uh... Mm. Nobles used to be able to flip you to a republic, but that doesn't, ha that doesn't happen anymore. It's really sad. <laughs> the best thing is that we doomed Jake to say Daraday Sandstorm for the whole campaign. DDR Biza Shen 420. Uh, mm. We see a lot of bad names around here. You could well be the worst. Alright, we're safe. They're going to spawn with very little morale. And for that they die. I wonder if it's possible to get a monarch or a, or a military leader called Yuan Shao. Holy smokes, I would be delighted. Right, you're still angry because I decreased autonomy. In fact, pretty much everywhere where I decreased autonomy... They're going to want to be revolting, aren't they? Yeah. Some of you really didn't like that. The Punjabs are going to be out in force. Alright. Desert, grasslands, jungle, jungle. We'll hold out in the jungle areas at least. colony is almost done so we need to go further afield. I just want to hop enough so that I can take some of the cape and then I'll be able to ravage Portugal for those provinces. It's going to be a pain but I need the cape for the achievement. Like I said at least it's half price coring cost. So I think what will be next? Well having a general will be next. Not good. It's not, uh, I hope Madagascar is not the next place. Oh, we don't even have the range for Madagascar. Hmm? It's not calculating from, uh... Maldives, it's still calculated. Oh, I need to core it, don't I? Oh, that's unpleasant. Cheap, but unpleasant. At least it's no autonomy. <gasps> reactionary! No, reactionaries are not... Uh, are not revolutionaries, Jake. Don't get too excited. So we either make the move on this, or we wait and hope that we have the range to get over here. I don't think we're going to get the range. We'll have to do it. Gonna have to do it step by step. But no, there's there's no need to Hmm. No. We'll leave one guy behind. Our horse will go back. We'll pick up a few more folk and then we'll uh, we'll take Madagascar, I suppose. Once we get call for peace, I will annex those guys. Until then, we're going to smoke that national defense modifier. So it's not something that people are overly familiar with. If you get declared war on, as in someone declares war on you, you will get minus five revolt risk to every accepted culture core province that you own. That ain't bad, is it?
So, Jake, did you just significantly increase your national income during westernization, rendering your withdrawal of merchants futile? Nonsense. Well, maybe not nonsense. <laughs> Definitely not nonsense. Well, it's only for a year. Peasants resist westernization for ten years to unrest. Oh, it's just in the Maldives, well, that's nothing to worry about. Also, it's a bit silly having uh, you guys protecting my trade when I don't need you to do that. We'll get you back home and mothballed. Just as intended. Right, Darade Sandstorm. Unfortunately, I don't think you can be culture converted. Yeah, nationalism kicking my balls there. up here. There we go. Uh, Portugal are spreading like a horrible virus down there. What's a sandstorm loving man to do? The Naguri and the Punjabi are close to rising up. <laughs> Definitely a little short on troops for that. We'll take care of it. It feels so weird having those two uh, merchants free. It's like I'm doing something very unnatural. Ah, uh, but we can almost get Madurai out of this coalition. I could throw down a guarantee on them and that would get them out, but that would open up more problems with truces. You can't declare war on someone that you guarantee, and then recalling a truce... Uh... Recalling a guarantee gives you a whole bunch of truce, so none of that is ideal. Alright, so with the Maldives done, these places are still too far away. There's going to be more hopping than I thought here. Which is most unfortunate. Try not to sink boats. Ah, you got two months of being okay. For you folks, I need you to explore for me. Alright, jeez, check those reps. Mm. Oh, we still got that tax income boost, how long is that for? July, that's alright. What a silly thing for me to do. Uh, yeah, Rebs. Mathia Wada. Only because it's getting converted. What is the actual threat here? Peasants! Because of Sandstorm! And I can't lower autonomy there. Hmm. Don't even want that province. I don't think anybody would buy it. Ah, well. Uh, 
That's really not worth spending 50 mil on. But we'll do it anyway. They've been rising up at an absurd rate though. Given that apparently only one province would actually want to, uh, to rise up. Alright, what's next? Punjabi Nats. And that's from these two provinces, right? I bet Norway would, Jake. Nah, Norway wouldn't buy it. Hey, you know, why Why am I still in this war? This is hurting me, actually. I know that, uh... Ugh. Okay, nobody actually cares. But I get 50% autonomy there? It was my core! you do. Alright, we're losing money, so I'm sure that uh, little bonus we got is now worn off. Try selling it to Norway, Jake. You never know. Hmm. I do wonder. Since they're not a, uh, a vassal, they might actually want it. Despite it being a different religion. Ho ho! Well, it has served its purpose. And I really don't want to get involved over there. But, at the same point, you know, I did go through all the I did go through all the bother to take it. I may as well keep it. Jake rivals. Yeah, I'm missing one. But the only Oh, Kara, that's ideal. We'll be fighting you eventually. I'm also thinking it might be an idea to start integrating Persia. Since when I fight Kara, I think I'll be getting all those cores back for you. And I need to use up those Diplo points now. It'll take forever to uh, integrate you anyway. Let's do it. I can't think of a good reason not to. Can you change government to help reduce autonomy? No, our tech is far too bad for that. I would want administrative or absolute monarchy, and that's 12 and 20. We're a little bit behind for that. I really feel like we should be fighting Kara right about now. They have got to die. Need those cores back. The cores back for everybody. I should start playing some western country so I don't have to go through westernization anymore. <coughs> but where's the fun in that? Alright, Madurai, this is getting daft. You shouldn't be in the coalition against me anymore. I can get you out if I ally you, but I hate you. The trouble is that Bengal war. Because... Oh, I see. Orissa is the one fighting Bengal. You know... Hmm. Nah. Monkey says, why does... And I don't know why you say at DDR and Jake. But anyway, why does Jake not use his merchants? I'm trying to reduce my income right now so that I can westernize faster. That's right. We do better by losing money. Probably. Oh, 
baby right now. This, however, this I'm not letting slip by me. Uh, let's get back to collecting like we did before. Uh, it wasn't there, was it? It was Indus. Are we collecting on the Indus? Might as well. Alright, so our merchants will arrive. They'll both arrive this month. Our income will go up. It goes from 6. Well, it goes up from 54. To 63. So, 9 ducat difference. Pretty much 100 ducat difference on the gold rush. We still get the same inflation, so thank you, please. We'll reduce inflation because being over 5 triggers bad events. But we need to be very miserly with our admin right about now. However, doing that makes our uh, westernization go that bit slower. So unfortunately our merchants have to come home. What a disgusting slurpy sound that makes. Does this mean that you are, if you're a certain size, you can't actually westernize? No, I think there's a minimum speed at which you can westernize. I don't think it's as harsh as 111, although it used to be when this change first came about. Alright, the Punjabs are about to revolt. We need to get our men together in a, uh, well, better way. And there we go. We know everything about this area. Unfortunately, unless we get Sosa. No, actually, we can't forge a claim on Cape, no matter how we cut it. We could do something similar to Portugal, though. Just no CB them and steal these provinces. Or one of them, at least. It is the Cape we need, after all. But I think, in the end, we're just going to be uh, dealing with Portugal the old-fashioned way. There's no rush for the Cape. We've lost our chance at colonizing it. And, to be honest, colonization is done what it was meant to do anyway. We probably would be as well getting rid of it. What was I saying about being miserly with my points? Oh, good thing we still have national unrest.